Today on Getting Real with the Housewives, Teresa Judice responds to fans booing her at BravoCon. It's fine, I, I have no problem talking about that. Yeah. 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 Plus, Kyle Richards and Mauricio are not headed for a split after she told us this about their separation. Honestly, like, we look at these things and we're like, we don't care about the rumors. And Jenna Lyons skipped BravoCon to twiddle her thumbs. And Dorinda Medley talks to us about Ramona Singer. You know what I mean? I want to stay in the moment. And, and then we all have to address these things when we get back to reality again, you know? Got that plus so much more on today's Getting Real with the Housewives. Hey guys, Christina Garibaldi here, and welcome to a huge week of Getting Real with the Housewives. I am fresh off of BravoCon, still not recovered, but I am ready to spill all the tea with you guys. Before we get into it, let's see what you guys had to say about last week's show. Cheryl says, I also noticed that Mo was looking at Kyle like he couldn't believe what she was saying to him. Did she go off script? He just looked like, what the heck are you doing? Talking about last week's episode when Kyle let Mauricio's parents know that he had a tattoo, definitely didn't seem happy. Um, Wendy says, I find PK more attractive than Mauricio. Well, let us know in the comments who you guys think, PK or Mauricio. All right, well, let's get right into it. And as you know, I'm sure you've all been keeping up with BravoCon. There was so much news coming out of it and a lot of interesting moments at the panels, including the Real Housewives of New Jersey. So Teresa told us, and told the panel that the chapter is closed with her brother Joe Gorga and his wife Melissa and some Bravo fans were not here for it. They were actually booing her at the panel. Well, we actually sat down with Teresa and her daughter Gia to get their take on the fan reaction and that explosive first scene from the upcoming season where John Fuda calls her a has-been. Audience, you know, the, the fans are savage sometimes and they did boo a little bit when you were talking about your situation with, you know, Joe and Melissa. What, what was well, kind of your reaction you to that? when you watch next season, mm -hmm. a lot of receipts will come okay. forward. And, uh, you know, I've covered a lot for my brother throughout the years. Mm -hmm. And I did that, you know, because of my parents, sure. you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, so like, you, a lot's going to come out that yeah. you will say. So this is my journey. So this yeah. is, you know, I'm, you know, this is my walk. Sure, yeah. yeah so. I feel like it's kind of hard for anybody else to boo or make comments. Yeah, it's fine. I, I have no problem talking about that. Yeah. 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 Okay. I feel like it's just, it's everyone, it's it's our story. Sure. Yes. You know? Yeah. And like we lived it. No right. one else is in our shoes. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. Yeah. We did see our first, the last question about the show, we did see our first scene from this upcoming yeah. season. What was your reaction to that? I couldn't really hear <laughs> okay. it. Okay. But I lived it. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, like I uh, saw so that John like Fuda got booed. Mm -hmm. for yes. I didn't hear him call me, uh, what do you call me, a husband? Yeah. I, I didn't even hear that mm -hmm. when I walked because I was already gone. Sure. So, <laughs> and it's like, okay, please. Like, yeah. You know? Yeah, definitely interesting. It seems like the fans at the BravoCon New Jersey panel were savage. They really were. All right, let's move on over to Beverly Hills. And Kyle and Mauricio have not made any major decisions amid their ongoing separation. A source tells us that Kyle and Mauricio have not hired attorneys, nor have either of them filed yet. While they are separated, they want to keep their lives as normal as possible for the kids. The source adds when and if they do decide to file, neither one of them will be bitter or coming after the other. The Insider also notes that there's a lot of tension between the former couple, but they don't wish bad on the other going forward. Neither of them wants a long and vengeful divorce. Well, of course, we caught up with Kyle on the, at the BravoCon red carpet, and here's what she had to say about her split and how her drama with their sisters actually prepared her for showing this on camera. You know, Kyle, we have been on your journey for years and years and years, and obviously you're going through a tough time this season. Where does this compare to other things that you have shared with over the years? Oh my gosh, uh, you know, I have obviously having disagreements with my sisters on camera has been very challenging. Uh, it's funny because where I was at in my life then, it was so difficult for me and it was newer to me to have my life out in front of the cameras and sharing it with the world, where now I have 13 years under my belt and it's, it's easier, but I'm going through something very different, you know, what you know, my husband and I are going through. It's very challenging for all of us to be, you know, in the spotlight during this time. So, I mean, I guess it did prepare me a, a lot going through what I've gone through, but you know, it's still like crazy. I have so many people that don't know us weighing in on our relationship and people saying things like, don't do this, you're gonna regret it. I'm like, do you think I wanted this? Do you think that this was my fairy tale? Like, uh, think about what you're saying to me and, you know. Has that been the hardest part? Like all the, like, the rumors going around and things like that? Is the, that the rumors, the rumors I don't even care anymore. Like honestly, like we look at these things and we're like, we don't care about the rumors. Um, but you know, I do get a lot of messages of support 
from people a lot, majority, but then I get the, what are you thinking? And I'm like, this is not like I just went one day when I was like, eh, bye, I'm bored. Like, yeah. um, so it, it is hard when people say, you crushed our dreams, like we followed you all these years, true love doesn't exist, and I've been crying for two days, and I'm like, I've got to worry about my family, and now I'm thinking about like strangers that are sad, and I, I appreciate that they care that much, but it's hard. We, I mean, we saw her at the BravoCon uh, panel where she started crying when she was talking about her split. Like, this is not something that either one of them wanted. He said in a recent interview that Kyle will always be the love of his life. I mean, I know that they're still trying to figure things out, and it's kind of like this gray area, and a lot of people are very much invested in this, and that's what Kyle said. She's like, it's hard when people are coming up to her and being like, love is dead because of you guys, and it's a lot of pressure on them, but hopefully they figure it all out. But we also spoke to Kyle's co-stars about her split, and if her Separation was more surprising than all those Dorit and PK rumors. Take a look. You know, big storylines this season, obviously, Kyle and Mauricio, and now PK and Dorit. Out of the two of them, what kind of surprised you the most out of those two, you know, marriage rumors? I think Kyle, for me, Kyle and Mauricio, for sure, because I didn't, I mean, I knew there were, you know, problems, but I didn't know they were going to separate. That was shocking to me, because I know how important family is to both of them, but there's a lot going on, so, you know. Well, she talked about it a little bit during the season. But when they separated, it was really surprising to me because I didn't know it was that far. But then it was sort of, we're separating, we're not. And so I always feel very confused about what's happening, but I'm surprised they're where they are today. Yeah. yeah, I was really surprised because I thought they had, I, I was really surprised. I was taken aback. And I always thought they were, they're the kind of couple that can work through things. So surprising. Yeah, this is definitely going to be playing out on this season of Beverly Hills. Well, Jenna Lyons broke plenty of hearts and broke her silence about why she skipped BravoCon this year. This was definitely a thought in my mind being like, where's Jenna Lyons? Well, she told ET, I had some really important things to do, like twiddle my thumbs. When asked whether her absence means she won't return to Roni for season 15, Jenna replied, no, no, no. I had an event and I had some other things that I had to do that were personal. I had to leave tonight, so I had to be on a flight. So I just couldn't. It didn't work out. She admitted that she didn't really have any FOMO while seeing her co-stars updates from the event telling ET no when asked whether she missed being at the three-day convention. Well, we caught up with Bryn who had this to say about Jenna's absence and whether she will return to Roni. Where, a lot of people are wondering, where's Jenna this weekend? I know. Yeah. Jenna's hanging out in her fabulous apartment with her beautiful partner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Team Jenna Epping I, I don't think. Yeah, she's she's trying she wakes up in the morning with her sunglasses on, uh -huh. speaking French and being chic, and she's, you know, she doesn't, she never thinks that she's better than anything, but she's just like a vibe and she's chilling. Yeah. Like, what, she's who she, like, she's just amazing, so. Do you think that she's happy that she did this season? Yeah, I yeah. think that she is, because she's such an amazing entrepreneur and businesswoman and, like, and such a chameleon and has lived nine lives, and, like, I feel like this is just another amazing chapter in her already amazing life. Yeah. I mean, she is Jenna effing Lyons, but I really would have hoped for her to be there. I feel like every other housewife franchise represented, I don't think there were any other missing housewives, so it really would have been nice for her to be there and kind of represent. It kind of makes me think that maybe she won't be back next season. Let us know in the comments if you kind of feel the same way or if she's just Jenna effing Lyons and get to pass. Well, there was one housewife that was noticeably absent, and that was Ramona Singer. So after being accused in a Vanity Fair expose of using the N-word in front of a black crew member during season 13 of Roni and nearly repeating the slur in a text message to a page six staffer asking for her response to the article, Ramona skipped the convention. A source told us that Ramona was distraught and planned to lay low while a second insider revealed it was not her choice to not attend. Us confirmed that her daughter Avery did make an appeal appearance on Friday as her business batch boss had a booth at the Bravo convention. According to an eyewitness, Avery was in good spirits after her mom's controversy. We spoke to, spoke to Andy. He said it was definitely the right decision to not have her there. And we also spoke to Dorinda about her Roni Legacy co-star. Take a look. Have you spoken to Ramona? I have not spoken to Ramona, yeah. So, you know, it's sad. It's disappointing. But, you know, we're about, I just want to be in the moment with BravoCon and the fans are great, and it's so exciting to be here that, um, you know, I really wanted to be present and centered yeah. here. Have you spoken to Ramona? I haven't spoken to Ramona. Has your friendship with her changed? Oh. Since the incident? Since the, no, since the show, since the incident. It hasn't. Well, this just happened as we were leaving. So, you know, I just kind of like have stayed in this bra. You know, I wanted to be about me and about legacy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to stay in the moment. And, and then we all have to address these things when we get back to reality again, you know?
I mean, she's still very much a part of the Roni legacy um, uh, upcoming season, which we saw the trailer for. It does look fantastic. I know I'm sure a lot of people have comments about Ramona. It seems like this was a long time coming and it definitely was the right move not to have her there. You know, we'll have to see what the ramifications of her actions will be this time around. All right, well, let's get into our social spotlight. I mean, this was so hard to choose because there were across the board so many different um, Housewives crossovers, Bravo fan crossovers, Bravo stars, Vanderbump hanging out with housewives. It was kind of all over the board, but mine did go to Tamara Judge, and she posted these photos of hanging out with the OG OC housewives. They made a surprise appearance at the Bravos to give Vicki Gumbelson her Wifetime Achievement Award, which was so much fun. It was definitely a big surprise. You could see on Vicki's face that she didn't know that this was coming, but we did catch up with Vicki, and she told us this about her big win last night at the bravos oh my god your speech i mean i think so. we were about to cry it was so good i did cry yeah. it was really when i thought about who has allowed me to have this experience it's the fans and it's bravo and it's scott dunlap and evolution and all of that and i thought like I, it's because of that's what I said because of them i was able to do this so i did thank andy what was it like watching all of your moments your highs and your lows kind of recap I mean, my little boys were two and three, and they were coming and running up to me and Nana. Now they're, you know, nine and eleven, and it's just look, you look back on this time. It's wow. Definitely much deserved for Vicki Gumbelson. She definitely is the OG of the OC and deserves that Wifetime Achievement Award. I feel like Vicki may be back full time next season. Please let us know in the comments if you agree. What were your favorite moments from BravoCon? What do you want more information of? Please let me know in the comments and I will definitely give you all the dirt that I have in next week's episode. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.